Thank you, Madam Speaker Pro Tem and members. I am saddened to hear what I'm hearing today about process. Um, and I'm back into a place where I was yesterday, feeling a heavy emotional weight. I woke up this morning, actually, and I was feeling a little bit better. I, I definitely share that sentiment, uh, Mr. My, Assistant Minority Leader. I woke up this morning, though, and I felt in a better place, but I honestly didn't plan on coming down here to the well. I didn't think that there was much that I would be able to contribute to this discussion. But I went to breakfast this morning. I was actually by myself, and I was looking at my phone, and you know on Facebook how it shows past memories. And it showed what I had posted eight years ago on this day. And it was a quote from uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. And it was that no one trips over mountains. It is the small pebble that causes you to stumble. Pass all the pebbles on your path, and you will find that you have crossed the mountain. And as I'm hearing this debate going on today, and I'm hearing about process, members, process or pebbles. Process our pebbles. The mountain is the harassment that has taken place. The danger and the threats to victims like Representative Winter, like Cassie, like Holly, like the other two that remain anonymous. The retaliation towards members in this chamber. And I know it goes beyond just the, the dossier that we received about this. That's the mountain. And we cannot afford to get caught up talking about the minutia of little things that may have happened that you didn't necessarily agree with in terms of how we found these things out. What is important is, is that we know what happened now. What is important is that we move forward in making this a safer building, a safer place not just for women, but for all people, free from harassment. I've started serving in this chamber with Representative Lepstock. I have known him a long time and shared both good and bad times with him. But what I have learned from this is that he has no place in this chamber. Not if we are to really represent this state and move Colorado forward. We have a bigger problem than just what's occurred with Representative Lepside. I say that the mountain is taller than any 14-footer outside these windows because the problem that we have is sexual harassment not only in this building but in state houses across this country, in Congress, and businesses across this country. And if we allow this one, this one pebble to stop us and make us stumble, then we will not be able to cross that 14-footer. We will not be able to truly bring about the real culture change that is needed in 2018. It amazes me that we are talking about this in 2018. Members. Let us not be callous. Let us not be unyielding because of, again, some dislikes in the process or some dislikes in how we got here. But let us look at the facts for what they are. And let us recognize that this is not the Colorado way to allow a member to continue serving in this estimable body. I ask for an I vote.